Small kitchen design is perhaps one of the most challenging tasks that a designer can face. The small kitchen that you see here, or actually that you don't see here, has faced and surpassed the challenge in many ways. This beautiful armoire falls into the category of a compact kitchen. Mini kitchen, all-in-one kitchen, unit kitchen, kitchenette, and so on. You've probably seen many of these, but you haven't not seen many of these, have you? Hi, I'm David Beer. I'm president of the Esther Tech Design Company. We're here located in Catasauqua, Pennsylvania. And what we do is we make, we manufacture kitchens that we call alternative kitchen solutions. Our showroom here where we are located right now is actually in our home. And we have some of our workstations. We call these things workstations um, throughout our home in some real life setting. Today I want to talk to you about this one here. This is a unit kitchen. It's a UK 66 LE. Uh, LE stands for limited edition because we value engineered this to be um, take some of the best elements out of our most popular kitchens and um, made it a little bit more affordable. So today we will also talk about where they can be used. Why do it in the first place? But let me give you an introduction to this one first. Okay, what you see here is a about a five and a half foot wide mini kitchen. We have many different styling options and uh, different, for example, different colors, different wood types, different door styles, different crown moldings. Um, all kinds of things that do affect the pricing. Uh, all the pricing is in our computers, in a database, so that whenever we want to price one of these things for you, we can do it really quickly. But what, what happens here is that when you see a unit like this and the doors are closed, the appliances that are inside, the hot ones, don't have power going to them. That's the safety feature. This is a UL listed uh, mini kitchen and there really isn't other cabinet companies that do what we do. Well, we are the only ones in the world that control power the way we do. So what happens is this. When we open up the pocket doors and we make them pocket doors so that these pieces can be put right beside other doors or windows or whatever. But when these open up, then the power that powers these up is allowed to power these up. Otherwise, all you have to do is open the door like that and a switch deactivates the power. That's our safety feature. And it only happens with the built-in appliances. These appliances here, you can have any kind of a plug-in appliance on the countertop. And you know we all have many, but um, for example, you know, here we're showing a toaster and a coffee maker. Uh, but any of these plug-in ones can just be plugged in like normal. In addition to this, okay, for example, this can be a convection microwave oven. can cook anything. It's a two-burner cooktop right here. And um, these are all flat so that when you don't need to use them for cooking, uh, they're prep space. We have a regular ceramic one like this. We also have um, induction cooktops. We have an undermounted sink here. Any number of faucets, we let you choose those. And um, counter space over here, which is actually above where the refrigerators go. Now this is a, um, a um, starting model. This is a summit model. It's a refrigerator freezer. And we also use uh, different ones like KitchenAid's um, drawer models and Uline um, uh, products as well. Under here, of course, is storage. And then over here is more storage. Now, because these units are a little deeper than normal 24 inch cabinets, these things come way out, okay? We always use full extension slides and they do, they do go in. Okay, here's a couple of storage drawers. Now down here is the dishwasher. This is an option. Um, starting price doesn't include this, but that's an option too. If it wasn't a dishwasher, it would be more storage. 
So that's basically the, um, the tour of this. A couple of little things that you need to know. Okay, just for you installers. When we ship these, these are shipped in two basic big pieces. From this point up is one piece and it's done like this. Appliances aren't here, of course. Food, nothing of that. Um, sink is not installed. And then this is the base piece and that's also uh, shipped as one piece. And then uh, when they get to their location, you level them up, you install the appliances, and that's basically all you have to do to get this thing going. We also provide rough-in requirements so that before these things get to their destination, roughed in, you can do the rough-in wiring and, and electric. And let me expound on that, okay? Um, right here, is where we have our control box that controls these two guys here. Okay, this is our Yestertech control. And the power typically comes out of the wall and uh, for the cooktop and the oven. And then that power goes into these boxes. And uh, here is a low voltage wire that's going to the switch that controls these power. That's in this uh, behind that partition there. Um, so this is just a snap-in thing and uh, easy to get at if you ever would need to, but typically you don't. So when that's done, that's done. In shipping, perhaps, you may have a need to uh, adjust the doors because they, they might uh, get out of whack. So we have this little panel that comes off and you can get into the door hardware here to uh, very easily to adjust the door. Also, if for any reason you would have to get into the track of that door, we make these partitions removable as well so that you can get behind there and if you needed to adjust the track for any reason. Typically that doesn't happen, but you know, you never know, which is why we uh, develop that system. So that's basically a tour of the unit, um, but let's talk a little bit about places that, um, you know, we can use them. Now, most often, of course, we're shipping these things all over the country, the U.S., to the islands, uh, to Canada, and um, we've done a number of these things for in-law suites, whereby, you know, grandma, grandpa, or whoever uh, comes back and somebody's converting their garage or basement or something for a nice apartment. They want a little autonomy and so they get one of these. And we do have different sizes. If somebody needed more refrigeration, we tack on a um, 24 inch wide unit here. For a full height refrigerator. And um, some people have asked for extra storage. We might balance that out with another unit the same size on the other side of one of these. Um, but in-laws apartments have been very popular. But now just think of, and, and we've also done them in larger homes. Um, we've done them for, say, master bedroom suite. Um, a guest suite and even like you see here this is a hallway okay this is actually the foyer of our office and um, if you put one of these things upstairs in a large home um, say in the corridor or where just off the corridor where all the bedrooms could use it that's a good use for this why go all the way downstairs just to get you know grape juice or something or a late night snack cook popcorn whatever uh, so that's a nice use for that. Uh, we also uh, have used them for home offices. Um, very convenient for that. For pool house, um, game rooms, you know, the home theater. Um, specialized rooms where, you know, you really don't want to traipse back and forth to a kitchen. And these are in some of the larger homes. Then we go the opposite way. We go to the tiny home, 
okay tiny homes that's a little different market for us because these are luxury items let me give you an idea this um this piece here st has a starting price of ninety eight hundred dollars okay um as you see it here with the dishwasher and some of the custom doors and things it was built for about ten thousand uh, 980 I think I remember that so uh, and you know they can go higher they can go lower just depends on appliances and styling things like that but compared to other mini kitchens where you see exposed all the time that's a higher price uh, we can certainly justify it we do the best thing we can uh, using the best um, appliances and construction methods and materials that we have we feel the green aspects of this is about saving space. When you can use this within another multi-purpose room and it only takes up this much space and you don't have to build other spaces around it to hide it, then that, be, that saves materials and that saves cost. And therefore, that's a very green thing to do, whether it's a renovation or new construction. You can save space with a beautiful kitchen that doesn't look like a kitchen all the time. Commercially, commercially these things uh, can go in extended stay hotel rooms. It can go in a luxury suite, single room. Um, they can go in, you know, multifamily studio apartments. where it's all one room living. That's a really good place for these. These, you know, we put them in offices where it's a, in going into an executive suite. Um, even the, like an exposed break room for a smaller office where you don't have that space for a break room. You just stick this in the lobby and there it is. So there's lots of places that this can be used. Um, well, that's about it for this, and um, if you would like to see a list of our different models, just email us at info at yestertech.com. Uh, tell us what you want, and we can send you a list of the different models. The list will show you how big each model is, um, what each model can contain, and it'll show you the um, starting and average pricing give you an idea if, if we're in your ballpark or not. All right, thanks for taking some time with us. And, um, uh, you know, we hope to see you in our Yestertech channel on YouTube and take a look at some of our other videos to see the other things that we do as well. Thanks again.